hey family welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here i know it's been a minute the end of the school year was a lot but i am back it is summertime and let's just catch up so i have done a makeover in my bathroom i'm sharing that with y'all today so as you see right here on this towel rack i was trying to pull it off but there is a little opening under the bottom that i can just stick these this scissor blade into and it'll click and then i can pull the towel rack off of the wall easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> smarter not harder right so after I took all those parts off there left this little thing right here I'm gonna unscrew that with the screwdriver and then let's look at the wall and we're gonna patch this up real quick so there's the nail that was sticking through into the wall but here is that section that was behind the towel rack I'm just giving you a close-up we are going to go ahead and patch that first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some drywall tape and I got this from Walmart y'all it was not expensive at all I just cut the piece to fit the section that I'm going to cover up and then from there I'm going to show y'all and you may have seen this before if you've been here with me for a minute but it's like the putty or the spackling that's going to go on the wall. What I like about this one is that it goes on pink and then when it's completely dry it is a white color. So that's why I choose this one and then I've got the little putty knife or whatever this is called but all of this came in a set y'all from Walmart so be sure to check that out but I've got the putty or the spackling on the putty knife and I'm just going to smooth this on in. I'm applying a generous amount and I'm going to sand it down later once it's dry but I just want to really show y'all or share with y'all the process. I am not an expert. Y'all know it wasn't that long ago. I call myself covering a hole and didn't even put the drywall tape on there so I'm learning as I go all right it is the next day the putty is dry it is the white color I'm taking this sander that Fred got I think he got it from Walmart but I'm just gonna sand down the drywall space so that I can make sure that it is smooth and even with the wall that's already there okay it's good to go now look at my hands Hindsight is 2020, right? I probably should have wore some gloves, but it's okay. All right, I'm just taking a disinfectant wipe and I'm just cleaning the wall down. And look at all this stuff at the bottom, y'all. Hindsight is 2020. In reflection, I would advise to maybe tape like a trash bag or something down there that this stuff will fall on, but I'm just going to use my vacuum and vacuum it up as best as I can. Again, hindsight is 2020. after i vacuumed all this stuff up y'all it kind of clumped up in my vacuum cleaner if you can see kind of how it's layered on there even though i'm vacuuming as soon as i finish sanding so i would advise getting a broom and a dustpan and just sweeping that up rather than vacuuming or if you have an alternative where it doesn't clump up in the vacuum cleaner let me know down below so here i'm just going over the spaces that i drywalled or spackled and I'm using the same paint that came with my house. I didn't have to buy any paint. I already had this paint brush or this paint roller. So I'm just going over it. And while that's drying, I am going to be adding a four tier shelf inside the bathroom. So we're just going to put that together real quick. I got this off of Amazon. I will definitely link it below for you. I love it. 10 out of 10. Recommend. It was not hard to put together. And if you know me, that thing where it said an hour to put together, mm -mm, let me beat that. It's almost like when GPS tells you how many minutes you got to your destination. And then I'm like, okay, bet. We're going to see. <laughs> so that's what it was for me putting this shelf together. First thing I did was go ahead and lay out all of the pieces as they're going to fit onto um, the brackets or onto the ledge. And then look, what do you know? Voila, all done. And it did not take an hour. I think it took me maybe like 30 minutes just because I think of the way that I started. So see, <laughs> one hour, mm -mm, don't try me. <laughs> all right, y'all moving right along. So I just wanted to um, show y'all what I'm going to be using to decorate in here with as far as the rugs, the shower curtain, the hand towel. So I was at Kohl's a few weeks ago. I don't know if you can see 
the texture, but it's kind of like a linen feel. It feels really good. And this is what it looks like. So it's gonna be this shower curtain. It was um, $42.99 at Kohl's, but it was like 60% off. Um, and then I have the matching hand towel to go with it. And it was $12.99, but again, I think it was like 60% off. All of this stuff was on sale. This um, mat, oh my gosh, y'all, it feels so good. And it's thick, you know, and it feels good. It's supposed to be quick drying. So I got this. I love the little pattern in it it kind of dips it like goes down up down up so it's y'all know what i'm trying to say <laughs> but um it was 13.99 regular price and then i got the same style rug but just a little bigger for in front of the sink so i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the washing machine and get them washed and dry and then while they're doing that, we're gonna clean the bathroom, okay? So while I'm cleaning up this bathroom, you know, well decluttering and then cleaning the bathroom, I just wanted to take a moment, y'all, pop in and just say, I have missed you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for still being here. You don't know how much your support means to me. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Y'all, it has been over a month since I have put out a video and we have grown by 40 subscribers and I have not even released a video. So thank you thank you thank you so much for your consistency for your dedication for your just loving this channel it means so much to me so with that being said i haven't introduced myself in a while because for one i haven't posted a video in a while but let me just take that time right now to introduce myself so my name is nitra i am a wife i am a mother i am a daughter a sister i am a school teacher and on this channel y'all i I just love decorating my home you're going to see home decor videos there is going to be some cleaning videos it is summertime i want to start organizing some things so i'm going to take y'all along with me for that again i am not an expert i am learning as i go if you have any ideas please help a girl out i really appreciate it but yeah i just want to say thank you for being here if you have not yet subscribed to the channel this may be your first time here i invite you to to click that subscribe button turn on that notification bell click the like button on this video because that helps YouTube push out my content to even more people and then leave me a comment down below say hey girl hey let me know where you're watching from why you chose to subscribe to the channel whatever it is you want to say of course respectfully and in positivity because we are all positive over here good vibes only but yeah y'all i just want to say hey thank you i appreciate you lots more content to come i'm wanting to redo my dining room we're thinking of well that's gonna come in a home updates video so make sure you stay tuned have those notification that notification bell on and that you are subscribed to the channel all right let's keep cleaning after we finish cleaning next up is decorating the bathroom and i have a little hack to show you that i learned off instagram for easily hanging a picture Okay, let me get y'all opinion on something. You see that I use the disinfectant wipes to wipe down the toilet um, and then I just throw them away. But I was watching a YouTuber the other week and she had took a poll on her channel and um, asking like what would be the most cost effective thing to use to clean the toilet. And her subscribers or her viewers told her that 
they thought about well they like to use just the toilet paper you know because you're already purchasing it it doesn't take that much to wipe down the toilet you have your cleaner that you're using so just wipe it down with the toilet tissue and then flush the toilet tissue down the toilet and that's easier you know on the earth and the trash being more green conscious so let me know your thoughts about that y'all i am still loving this tub scrubber that i purchased from amazon like whoever invented the handles and this whole process this whole vibe like i thank them so much now what i need to do though is i need to get one of those um shower heads because this cup and doing this mm -mm, no it no I mean, I'm going to do it for as long as I need to, but I'm on the market for a shower head that I could just pull down and rinse off the shower walls and the tub after I finish cleaning them. If you have something that you use or a shower head that's really working for you, please let me know down in the comments. Drop me a link. Be like, Nietzsche, go to Walmart, whatever it is, but just help a girl out, okay? <laughs> And just a little side note, I do not wipe down the shower after every time I clean it. I must have just had a little bit of extra energy on this day and I wiped it down, but usually I do not. So don't think this is like a routine for me. It just depends on my energy level. Well, you know, nothing has changed over here. I am still vertically challenged, so there's my handy dandy step stool. Gonna quickly go ahead and spray some Windex on this mirror, get it wiped down, and then, yeah, next up will be vacuuming the floor and then mopping the floor, and then we're gonna go right into decorating. Y'all still with me? Give me a smiley face emoji in the comments if you're still here. Here's an overview of our empty canvas, our blank slate, before we begin to decorate. Are y'all ready to have some fun? Well, hopefully you've been having some fun the whole time, but here is the main event, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go to work. I really love how this shower curtain and the rugs and the hand towel came together. The look I'm going for in this bathroom is like a spa type, just a neutral tone, calming feel. And 
this set just really did it for me and I know you hear youtubers say this a lot but the lighting really is not doing it justice y'all because the lighting has my walls looking more of a cream color and they're more on the white side or the whiter tones because the color is divine white but just picture more of a white wall with those things and that'll give you um, the look that it actually is in I guess up close and personal or in real life so I got this tray from Hobby Lobby I think it fits the vibe so good it's more of the darker wood tone and then these um, soap dispensers y'all I ordered them off of Amazon so excited to get that color not realizing that all of the labels said soap so what I did was um, if you remember in my kitchen redo or makeover I got some dispensers and they actually had different labels like soap lotion and things like that so I pulled the lotion label from that set and added it on to this jar or this soap dispenser lotion dispenser y'all know what I'm trying to say my point is you just got to get creative and use what you have and reading is fundamental <laughs> okay so for this um, plant right here mm, I thought it was too big for the sign so I took this plant from my kitchen where those soap dispensers are in the kitchen and I added it on here and I think it just fits the space better it's not real bulky but I still wanted a pop of green to go right there and I am pleased with this space all right let me just straighten it up I wanted that s to be visible for this bathroom is for singing <laughs> all right this paper towel holder came from downstairs in my bathroom and then here is that plant that I was just showing you I've had this basket for a while and this y'all right here is what I was wanting to show you about the trick or the hack for hanging wall art. So I saw this on Instagram and I don't remember whose page I was on. It was like I was scrolling through the reels and this popped up. But to minimize the I guess effort in hanging a wall art level um, it showed that you can take some painters tape like I'm doing right now and then just tape it across the back of the wall art of where the nails are gonna go and press firmly on it because you know painters tape it lifts off easily so I'm just securing it down and then I have a permanent marker in my hand and you probably could do this with the ink pen crayon whatever floats your boat whatever you have handy and I'm just looking for the holes on the back of the wall art, right, checking to make sure that I'm making the dot on the tape exactly where the nail needs to go for the wall art and I'm going to do that on both ends of the wall art and then I'm just going to give you a close up of what that looks like before we move on. All right, so next thing I've peeled off that tape and what I'm doing is I'm just taking the tape and putting it on the wall and then I'm using a leveler with the tape. So once I have the tape level, then I can go ahead and make my holes. How cool is that? Instead of having to hang up the wall art and then use the leveler and then adjust the whole wall art. Now I can just go ahead and get it done and look, <laughs> it worked out and so it's level. I'm using this hook device that L Boogie gave me. Um, she hooked me on, no pun intended, but she hooked me on to this. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm taking the sharp end and just making little dots in the wall. So that way I can peel the tape off and then go ahead and insert these hooks. What I love about these hooks, y'all, is that you put them in, you just, you know, squeeze them on in, push them through, and then turn them over, and it curves up inside of the wall. So you don't even have to make sure that you have a stud it's its own anchor and I love that about these items oh my goodness so here I am hanging up the wall art got this from Hobby Lobby maybe two three maybe four years ago but I just am getting around to hanging it up y'all shop your home okay please shop your home I remember when I purchased this it had a brown um, frame to it and I spray painted it black to match the space and then there I am using the leveler the picture is level voila work smarter not harder y'all <laughs> okay gonna go ahead and add in this four tier shelf that we put together earlier and then we're gonna go ahead and add some decor onto it you still with me all right we're almost done this is the home stretch last thing that we're decorating and then we're gonna do the reveal so here I have um, this plant with the olive tree 
well the vase with the olive tree plant in it and if you remember from a while back I got that from TJ Maxx it was a haul that I did and then there's a picture from Hobby Lobby and I also got this decor piece from Hobby Lobby as well they both were 50% off when I purchased them I just love that saying on the sign if you've been here for a minute I had this in my downstairs bathroom last year but you never know what you have until it's gone like toilet paper <laughs> All right, going down to the second shelf, let's go ahead and get this decorated. Here's this little basket I got from the dollar spot at Target a while ago, y'all. It was $5, but I just love it. I haven't thought about what I'm going to put inside of it yet, but I want it to be a functional space for guests when they um, have to use this bathroom. They don't have to go looking for items, so still thinking about that. If you have a suggestion, let me know down in the comments. As you can see, I'm playing with the heights now. So I switched out that small plant for this larger um, faux plant. And then this amber vase I actually got from Hobby Lobby. And I got this side from Hobby Lobby too. The best seat in the house. Now my vision was someone would be sitting on the toilet and they would see that and be like, aha, you get it? Aha, the best seat. It okay, all right, all right. And then this basket at the bottom, I got from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, but we'll see. Maybe some lotions and different things like that. But here is the reveal, my friends, my friends, my friends. Let me know what you think in the comments, but your girl is pleased with the space. I didn't show you that gold trash can earlier, but I got that from Kohl's at the same time I bought the shower curtain and everything, and it was also on sale. But I love this space, y'all. It's not overpowering. It's just so peaceful and relaxing. The reed diffuser gives off such a pleasant scent with the spearmint smell. It's just like, oh. So yes, I love everything about this space. I love how the colors tied in together. I love this shelf. I was wanting something that would just take up a little bit of space right there because it was such an open space and I found it. This shower curtain is doing what it is supposed to do. I just love it so much. I love the texture. I love the colors. I love the rugs. They are so soft on the bottom of my feet. Y'all, I am using this bathroom more than I am using my own bathroom. If that gives you any idea how much I love this space. So yeah, thank you so much for just being with me as we... What all did we do today, y'all? We did some DIY, we took down the towel rack and put um, and patched that. We put together a shelf, we cleaned the bathroom, we um, decorated the bathroom, and here we are. Just thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.